Hi guys. Well, last night I decided I'd connect the battery up and uh, just see if the lights on this old Moto B came um, lit up. And uh, the only light that does, or was, I'll just touch the wire on there, is the um, front light. Um, it didn't, but that was just a blown bulb. <coughs> um, but I do have problems with the rear light. The um, bulb tested good. Now, there's several ways you can test one of these uh, bulbs. You can put it across a battery like this. 4.5 volt batteries like this are um, plenty good enough to test a 6 volt bulb or if you've got one of these you can, I'm just going to stick it on its stand you can set it to continuity and uh, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this <laughs> bear with me just one sec and uh, I'll just straddle the bike. <laughs> one probe. Whoop. Basically, just one probe on the side, one on the bottom, and it should. See, in this case, it's not beeping. I've got the probes on, which means dead bulb. And if I stick it on the battery, that will confirm. This is the one at the front lamp, by the way. You see there's no lamp light there whatsoever. But, if you've got a cheap meter, these are perfect meters for this, by the way. Um, this one's got built-in beeper, so when there's, when there's a continuity, it'll beep, as well as give you a reading. A small reading, so... So, this is going to help me diagnose the problem that I've got with the rear lamp. I already know what the problem is, but I'm going to show you what to do. So I'm going to sit you, hopefully, just there for a moment while I um, get a few things set up. Stick that there. Because I need at least one free hand. <laughs> right. Change one of my leads. This is why I made up one with a crocodile clip. Well, actually, I made up a pair. You put that in there. Disconnect the battery. Right. Oh, over. Put that one there, and I'm just going to test the lead action. Okay, so I'm set up. Now, I've got the lead clipped on the um, wires. So we'll see if there's a break in the power wire, shall we? So we'll just touch on the end here. Nope, we're beeping, so we've got continuity there. We'll make sure there's no short. We'll uh, touch it on the bottom terminal. Nope, we've got nothing. Now, I'm going to take this clip and I'm going to clip it. I'll just get the wires out of the way. Onto the bracket of the dynamo. Just on there. I'm just going to make sure that is. Nope, we don't see one. Here we do. We've got continuity, right. Now, because the bottom contact in this lamp holder is the ground, when I touch this on the bottom, ah, so we have no ground. See? Oh, I definitely don't know. <laughs> We've identified the problem. We have no ground connection. Which means... 
Well, let's try it on the mud guard, shall we? No, so the mud guard itself hasn't got a very good ground. And it could be because there's dirt on the surface of this. And it's an aluminium mud guard as well. So, what I'm going to do is flip this bike up the other way, take the wheel out, and I'm going to go under the mud guard here, where the fixing bolt is, you can see it's rather dirty and filthy. So, at a guess, as that's where the lamp would earth through the mud guard, because um, the bottom of the light bulb basically connects to the probe in here, touches the um, head of this bolt. That's what I was probing in here, and actually, if you notice, I didn't even get a beep when I touched that bolt, and I should have. So, there we go. With the help of a meter, one of these cheap, generic um, meters, I think this costs about 4 99 on eBay, but they're very useful for pro little projects just like this one. So, now I've found the problem, I've just got to fix the problem. <laughs> um, but you should always, at first you should always check the bulbs, because you never know the bulb might be blown. Um, what I'm going to do now, as I said, is just turn this bike upside down. And I'll see, I'll see if I can get that nut undone without breaking the... Um, light unit itself because that's what happened before on one of these lights when I tried to take it off. Um, doesn't matter, I've got spare mudguard lights but I would like to keep the original one if I can. But, uh, as I said, I've got two spare mudguard lights anyway that I can throw on if the need arises. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off while I get prepared. So, uh, I'll be back in the jiffy. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I've got the light fitting off. And uh, basically, screw your lamp, your lamp in through there. You put your live wire from the dynamo just laid in this little black clip here, and the stripped part, the metal, bare metal part, just folds over and makes contact with the side of the bulb. And then the bottom of the bulb touches that metal contact right in the bottom, which is that bolt. So, my task is to uh, come over to the table and do a bit of cleaning. I'm going to give the bolt itself a good clean, just using uh, a bit of this steel wool. Let's go. It's already been squirted with WD-40, which is not just good for freeing off rusty nuts, it's good for um, cleaning as well. Let's go round and round like this. That's cleaned it up quite nicely. Now, need the other probe. Need the other probe. That. Now I want to make sure that there's um, that there's a connection on the outside here as well as the inside. So I'm uh, going to turn the meter on. That would be helpful. Just going to touch on there. Right. Got a good circuit there. Good. I think the problem is probably a rusty washer. Um, so, we know the light unit itself is okay. Um, the other step I'm going to do is just give the contact on the mud guard clean, and the surface a clean. Like so, 
how shiny that is. Um, shouldn't matter too much about that side. Ugh, yeah. Filthy washer, probably. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll go back to my table and I'll see if I can clean this washer up. Just uh, <laughs> boot my probe out the way that I dropped on the floor. So, see you there for a minute. I try to clean this up as much as I can. I'm actually going to see if I can find a clean nut to put on it as well, instead of that rusty one. Because a clean nut would, um... by the mother, the boss. <laughs> That's my stepdad. Might be on his way to pick me up. But I uh, hope you've actually learnt something from this video. This is one downside to um, dynamo lights and why I actually said in my um, installation video I did why I um, install a separate ground wire especially to the front light <clears throat> on that design of light I did with this um, mudguard light I'd have done the same thing with a separate ground wire right let's just make sure we've got um, conductivity both sides shall we Is the washer less a problem? That no, could be the probe, actually. Don't tell me one of them is going to be burnt again. Just bear with me once. Hmm. That hand broken, otherwise that means I'll have to repair it. <clears throat> so I don't have a spare probe. I've only got a set with those crocodile clips. There we go. Yep. It seems like um, <laughs> this one's just broken on me. Um, yeah, I just have to say that wire does feel a bit loose. Um, anyway, I'll have to go in for repairs. So, I'm just going to test this washer again with two working probes. Got, got a full circuit there, good. So now the, um, task is just to throw it all back together and hope it works. Um, so, <laughs> as my stepdad is on his way, probably, or it'll prob probably be dark when I am, I do the last segment of this video, so, in case you're wondering why, that would be why. So, I'm going to at least get this bolted to the bike. And, uh, yeah, I might just give that nut clean as well. So, yeah, I will be back as soon as, well, in the blink of an eye to you, but it'll prob probably be a matter of hours for me. So, um, I'll talk to you when I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and, uh, the rear lamp is all back together. Excuse the cat. <laughs> So, does it work? Well, I already know the answer, but you don't. There we go. It's lit up nicely, front one's working. So that's all the problem was. A dirty ground connection right there. All I did was clean up the bolt, 
the mounting bolt itself, clean both surfaces of the nut and clean the washer, as well as the mud guard, and Bob's your uncle. So there you have it, that's how you would uh, diagnose a fault with a dynamo light. You would just repeat the similar, it's pretty much the same process with the front lamp. Check the bulb first, because you never know, it could just be as simple as a blown bulb. Um, and if the bulbs test fine, then check connections. And the easiest way is, as I've shown you, with one of those cheap sort of they can range between five pounds and six pounds six seven pounds depending where you get them from one of those cheap mirrors and you can just check for continuity on each connection which will um at least tell you which fault the connect the um connection is on because uh obviously there'll be a break in the circuit so you've got to figure out um if you've got continuity on both, then it could be the bulbs not connecting in the lamp itself. It could be a wire came off in the lamp. So there are a few other things to check as well. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.